Hi everyone, it's Nancy Basting. Yeah, I've been MIA. I've been another week in bed sick. I don't know what it is. I don't know what I catch when I go to the hospital with Wes or if it's, I don't know. But I had the throwing up stuff again and couldn't keep anything down. I couldn't even keep water down, and I guess that's too much information, but yeah, I've been in bed sick. So today's the first day I have felt like a human being. Now, I did watch Stacy last night on her live cast on YouTube, which was really fun, and um, she was demonstrating brushes, and I told her that she had a small pack and I don't know if somebody gifted her them and just put a few of them in or if they bought them that way. But I thought I would, I told her I would come on today and show her what I have in my packages. And so what I'm doing here, I wanted to demonstrate. Um, I'm putting dimensional effects on here and I've spread it real thin on here and I want to do these birds. And then we'll play with the uh, brushes. I'll go through the brushes while this is drying. So I'm just applying. I want it real thin. I don't want it real thick on here because I want it to dry. And um, I just thought it would be fun to show you a different way to use the brushes. I didn't want to unhinge on her way that she used them because it was really fun to watch her do it. But it's really, um, I've done this before with the um, dimensional or molding paste or whatever you have. And this comes out really interesting also. So just thought I would show you another direction to go with your, if you have brushos or if you are going to get brushos or if you're going to get Ken Oliver's, whatever he has. Now I'm getting some debris from this stencil because you know I didn't clean it off and when you don't clean your stencils off and you reuse them again you get debris from them but I'm not going to put that back in the bottle because I don't want to contaminate it so I'm going to pull these off and this is scribbles from deco art and I know you can't see it on there but it's there. You can see the birds because they've got some stuff on them. But can you kind of, you know, it's going to wash out. The camera's going to wash out. So I'm going to set this aside over here to dry while I go through the brush shows and show, show what I have, what I bought. Uh, Stacy wanted a, a hot pink one, and um, I don't know, Stacy, if I really have a hot pink one now. After I told you there was one in the, um, I don't know if there's a bigger set than 24. I haven't looked. My thing is really dirty. Goodness gracious! I haven't been down here for a week, and. I don't know what I did before I, I was delusional. I think I was trying to do a paint on a cup or something. I got paint all over my table here. I'll have to take some alcohol to it and get it off. But anyway, so much for that. Okay, in the eight pack that I got, I got a eight pack and now I have not mixed these up there's in the same box that they originally came in and I poked too many holes in mine but what I have here are what I got in this box was bubble wrap I got some bubble wrap yeah I got yellow ochre I got burnt sienna olive green rose red now this rose red is really pretty really pretty moss green sea green 
I got a lot of greens. A lime green and sandstone and terracotta. And that's what this came in this assorted pack of eight colors. Okay. We'll play with these. We'll show you what these look like. Now in the pack of 24, when I get all these back in here. But I didn't want to infringe on Stacy what she did last night because that was really cool. We had a lot of fun. I was laying in bed watching her. But anyway, this is the pack of 24, okay? Now, when I poked all these holes in here, then I was told just to poke one hole and put a push pin in it. So I'm very, very careful not to tip these upside down. And then I punched out some sticker, round stickers to go on the top. And eh, that didn't last long. They don't stay on there. So that was a fail. So if you get these, only poke one hole in the center of it and put a push pin or some kind of something in there to keep it from spilling out but I'm really careful and hopefully I won't drop them or anything and they all spill out because they weren't cheap okay in this one I got Oast Blue now I don't know what the OST stands for I have a page here but I don't know what that is Oast Blue I don't know. And then I got turquoise and leaf green, yellow, crimson. Now crimson is like kind of like a pink. It's kind of like a hot pink. And then I have Cobalt Blue, Brilliant Red, Prussian Blue, Ultramarine, Violet, Light Brown, Orange, dark brown scarlet now scarlet um, is kind of on the red side I don't know if you can see it on here it's right there scarlet is really dark red and then your crimson is more of a pinkish crimson is right there and it's more of a pinkish I don't know. I would say it was really pink. It, I mean, it's not going to be hot pink. I think like Stacy wants a real hot pink one. I don't think you're going to get that. And then, unless they have, I don't know if they have neons. Then you have Oast Red. Purple. white now I like the white that's a must to have and emerald green lemon black gray Gamboge, and I don't know. Let me see what Gamboge looks like. Gamboge is kind of a yellowish orange color right there. If you can see it. If I can get it up here close enough where you can see Gamboge. Focus camera, focus. Come on, honey, you can do it. Come on.
Can you see Gamboche? Come on, focus. Well, I don't know. Anyway, Gamboche. And then we have Vermilion. Now, Vermilion is sort of like uh, I don't know. It's right here. Vermilion is kind of a reddish with some yellow in it, and or pinkish with some. I like vermilion. I I have these in my some markers that I have. I really like that color. But anyway, so we can create, and I'll put these all back in here, and then I'll take them out as we're going to use them, so I don't spill them. And we'll see what all the colors do. I might have to get another paper. That's okay. I got plenty of paper. And it's even watercolor paper. I even have Bristol paper that we could use too. But I just kind of wanted to um, show what it looks like when you put modeling paste or dimensional stuff on it because it's really cool when you do that. I learned that trick from Karen. I think her name's Karen. She's from, I think she's from Costa Rica. I'm not sure. Let me look on my bookmarks because I have her on here. Let me check real quick. I think her name's Karen. Hmm. Maybe not. I've been watching her a long time and I don't I can't remember her name now. Isn't that terrible? Well, if I find it, I will link her her uh, YouTube at the bottom in the in the um, description. If I remember, I'll try to remember because she did some cool stuff. And that's kind of where I learned this from. All right, let's see if our dimensional things are probably not dry yet. I got some water over here. I also have a bottle of water to spritz on it. And I'm going to grab another piece of paper just in case. I'm not going to put modeling paste on it or anything just want to get another piece so we can see what the um, eight pack looks like just the eight pack let's start with that while the modeling paste is um, still drying probably have to hit it with a heat gun but anyway let's try these the eight pack. And to give you a clue of what they look like. Alright, let's water down our paper. This is a wet mess. Gonna grab some paper towels. Because it can really be a wet mess. I know it's paper there and it's probably fading in and out on you with that autofocus on. Let me check it and see if it's on. Yep, the autofocus is on. Okay, 
Here we go. All right, we're going to test out this yellow ochre. See how that goes on there? And sea green next. You don't need much. And it goes everywhere. Especially when you hold up your wet paper. And I'm going to put some of this rose red over here. That's a beautiful red. And this is olive green. And this is burnt sienna. I know this is like a brown. Moss green. And if we move it around too much, we're going to get mud. I want to dissolve that a little bit so you can see what moss green looks like. But they're very high pigmented, so probably should have some art guard on my hands. This doesn't keep it from off of them, but it helps not to penetrate so deep. Into your skin, so it's a little easier to come off. Okay, let's see. We need a little more water on this over here. This was the uh, burnt sienna. This is the crimson rose red. No, this wasn't rose red. It was, yeah, it was rose red. Now, let's see, do we have another space we can put some on? We have terracotta. can tell where my table is, not even. I'm going to mop some of that water up.
They are so fun to play with. You just get these bursts of color everywhere. I'm going to put some sandstone right here. That's another brown color. Hence the name, sandstone. Now, you can take a paper towel and run right over it if you like. Lay it over the top. And soak up some of that water. Just a little bit, just like that. It doesn't take away from it. And then you can add more water where your crystals haven't uh, dissolved, like over here in this yellow part. Stacy, are your hands still blue today? They probably are, huh? Okay, we have two more colors. We have lime green. And terracotta. I'm going to put some terracotta right here. It's basically another kind of red. I'm going to have some pretty paper towels. But that's kind of cool. It just kind of just came down there and got all on there. And now this is lime green. I'm going to have a lot of greens in this paper. And it's really bowing. Okay, I guess I'll put some lime green up here in this corner. See what happens. Like pepper, salt, and pepper in your food. Okay, now that is all the colors in the 8-pack. But I want to get some drippage down here on the ends. So I'm just going to let this stuff run. What comes out of it will be beautiful. I'll put a little more lime green down here. Or terracotta, because I grabbed the wrong one. Oh well, doesn't matter. This paper is going to be gorgeous.
Now, when that is dry, it will be wonderful to, as a background, to start stenciling and stamping and yada 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 all over it. It'll be gorgeous. I'm telling you, I wonder what was right here. I want to put something right there. Maybe it was a yellow. I thought I put yellow ochre over here. Maybe it was sea green. A slide of yellow ochre right here. I've seen people with Ken Oliver, and they're like a um, thing that you swoosh like that. You squirt it like that, a bottle, and it comes out. The powder comes out when you push on it and squirt it. All right, I'm just going to let them run and mix, and they'll be gorgeous. I'm going to hit it with a heat gun a little bit. Now you can reactivate this with water. If you don't like what's on here, you can reactivate it and put more on or put water on it and dab it off and take it off. But I think it's gorgeous with these eight colors. I got a gorgeous piece of paper. I want to get it dry enough that I can hang it up so it's not going to drip anymore. I want to hang it up to dry. I don't think it's going to get dry enough to hang up, but I'm going to set it somewhere to dry. I don't know where, but I want all this fun stuff in it. I don't want it to drip down. And where I hang my papers is not a good place for it to drip. So let me find a spot to put this. You guys, you're not going to believe this. I am so bad. I am so bad. I wanted the Brother Scan and Cut, right? So I could cut out my own stencils. But I bought this thing mm, April, May? No, April. Maybe even sooner than April. Maybe it was March. And I haven't even plugged it in and played with it. Because I am just so scared of it. Why am I scared of it? I've been hoping that Kelly Donovan, shout out Kelly, would do a, a 
a tutorial on how to use the Brother Scan and Cut. So I could plug mine in and start using it. But anyway, I brought another table down into my art room. I got it sitting there. Still haven't got the cords in it yet. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to set these to the side because I'm going to get new ones for this other. Thing. Let's see what I made. I made a paper towel holder by, with a hanger. You just cut it in the middle and put your paper towels on it. Then you can hang it anywhere in your art room. I have it hanging on my paint twer, my whatever it is from um, Kia, Ikea, that rollabout thing that everybody got from Ikea. I got one too. Okay, let's put these away in their box so they don't get mixed up with the other ones. I want to keep them separate. I don't know why they won't fit in that other box anyway. So they came in this box. And if I want to add any other colors, there's room in this box to do that. I want to check and see if they have neon ones. And metallic ones. Okay, here we go with the big box. Let's see if our paper's dry. Mm, I need to hit it with the heat gun a little bit. I need to put this down so the camera won't flash out. I don't know what happened to my camera. It moved. Alright, I just burnt my paper because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I almost caught that stupid paper on fire. I was watching on the monitor to see what happened to the camera, and I burnt the paper right there. Can y'all see it? It's burnt. I can smell it. Yeah, man alive. All right, let's get here and get seeing what we got. All right, let's wet our paper. Probably gonna have to have another piece of paper to put all the 24 colors on here. 20, yeah, 24 colors is not gonna all go on this paper. Let me grab another piece of paper just in case. I buy this paper relatively cheap at Hobby Lobby. It's this kind and it's $7.99 for a pack of, it's 11 by 15 and you get 12 sheets in it. And it's pretty cool. And I like it. Alright, here we go. Any particular rhyme or reason here? Uh, let's see, I want to show you the pinks and the blue, or the pinks and the, that's lemon, this is orange, scarlet, that's red, crimson, I want to show you that one, and this is yellow, vermilion, I want to show you that one, it's white, Brilliant red. We all know what red looks like. An oast red. That's a different color than brilliant red. We'll pull those two out too. We're going to use all of these. I just want to show you some right at the beginning. Light brown. 
emerald green, turquoise, this is purple, violet, black, dark brown, cobalt blue, gambo, gamboge, we'll do that one, gray, leaf green, ultramarine, yellow, is that all of the reds? Where's the crimson? Oh, I have it. All right. Let's go. I'm going to show you the pinks and the red. The pinks, all the pinks that are in this, they're kind of pinkish. I'm going to get rid of some of this water that's on here. Okay, here we go. This is vermilion. kind of a pinkish okay now we're gonna do crimson down here That's more of a red. It's got blues and violets in it. I can see the little crystals. Can you see the difference? This is kind of orangey. This is more red. Okay, we're going to try gamboge over here. That's more orange yellow. Okay, and did we use scarlet, gamboge, crimson, a vermilion, and ostrad and scarlet. Stacy, I must have lied to you because I don't see a pink in here that's really pink. I see this vermilion that's kind of pink, but not a bright pink like you want. Not poodle pink. And this one was scarlet. But look how that does in the when you put modeling paste on it. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, we're gonna do oast red. Do that right here
Wow, look how that sprayed out, clear out here. Wow, see how overspray all clear out here? Now, was this crimson? Because these more look more red to me. And that kind of looks like a um, violet pink. I can see the violet in it. And it's got violet undertones. Okay, now we have brilliant red. Now I know this one's going to be really, really red. So basically what I have here is a page of reds. Reds and pinks and whatever that was. Gambo, gambo, gam gambosia. It's spelled G-A-M-B-O-G-E. Gambosia, I think is how you say it. Gambage, gambage. So isn't that cool? Isn't that really cool? I want to put some more stuff over here, and I can't remember what that was. Vermilion, I think that was vermilion. Well, if it wasn't, it's now going to be vermilion. I just love these things. And then, if you want to, you can sprinkle them on a palette and wet them down and use them as watercolors that way with a brush. You don't have to apply them like this. You know, you can use your, you don't have to even get them on your fingers. You can use a brush to move them around. Fill in all the spaces and get rid of all the little bursts of crystals if you want. I just wanted to show you how cool they look with when you put the um, molding paste on. It just really makes them cool looking. So we got a page of all reds. Reds and pinks. With our molding paste. How cool is that? This was crimson, right? Now put some water on that. Put some crimson down here. Some more. Some more. I want some more. Some mores. I want some mores. No, I don't. Not on my stomach. I don't want no some mores. Oh. I don't think that was crimson that was on there before. I don't remember. Anyway, I got a lot redder.
I think it's cool. How oh, it's just doing its thing. Okay, so I wanted to tell you something. If you've got this um, brush and stencil cleaner from um, Deco Art, I always have a jar of water here that I put my um, brushes in when I get through painting. And I put a squirt of this in there. And then when I'm painting, I put my brushes in there, brush them off, clean them off. And then in this container, I have clear, 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 clear water to rinse them off. And it's really helping to keep my brushes a lot better than they ever were. Just rinsing them out with water. It really helps. All right, guys, I'm going to run this. I'm going to run it, run it, run it together. See what I get. I'm going to get a different, whole bunch of different colors of red. But I don't care because I love it. And who's going to know when you start stamping and stenciling on this and cutting them up for backgrounds or using it for a page on or a cover for a book. It's going to be gorgeous. So let me hit it with the heat gun without burning it. And we'll move on to some other colors on another sheet. But I lied to you, Stacy. I don't see a hot pink in here at all. So maybe in the other. Uh, but when I bought these, I didn't see another bigger package than 24. But maybe you can buy the pinks uh, separately. I'm going to have to look into that on the internet and see. We'll get on this company and see what you can buy of them. And then I think I'm going to start um, learning how to use my scan and cut. I'm going to maybe read the book, <laughs> read the booklet, and find out how to use it. What I want to do is, you know, those beautiful feather stamps that I have? I want to scan, I heard you could do this. I want to stamp it out on a paper, scan it into my scan and cut, and then cut it out and make a stencil out of it. Yeah, right? Do you think that would be cool? But I want Kelly Donovan, yay Kelly, shout out. Stacy, Pink Poodle Craft, shout out. I want Kelly to sh tell me how to do it. Oh, Kelly. Please watch my video. Tell me. All right, I'm going to set this over there and to dry, and we're going to do another page with the different other colors. I'm going to have a lot of pages to work with, which is just fine with me. Because I think this is fun. I think it's a lot of fun. All right. Scan and cut. You gotta move over. Yes, you do. And I'm moving the camera because my counterweights are right here and I touched it and I jiggled the camera. Sorry. All right. I got pink hands, Stacy. I got red pink fingers. All right, oh, let's see here. I guess I could still use these paper towels. They're kind of mucky, maybe not. I'm going to save these because these are going to be gorgeous. I'm going to wipe this up though. Wipe up the smears. Soak all I can get up in these paper towels. Set them aside. I'm going to hang those up to dry. Get me some more. Oh, 
and we'll move right along. I'm going to set these colors back here so they don't get tipped over. Another thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if I can get my camera back there to angle it. Um, but I bought a nail polish stand that you that they keep their nail polishes on in the I'll show you I can't explain it I'll move the camera don't get sick I'll move it slow do you see that that's a nail polish holder and it, and it holds 60 bottles of nail polish so it holds all my um, misters like this and it holds some of my extra uh, Bombay ink by Dr. Martin and it holds my Gamasol and my uh, Yoohoo stick and it holds my stickles yeah and so they're all right here by me which is really nice. I can just grab them when I want to use them. All right, here we go. We're going to spray this down. Oh, there was some little crystals of brush oil on here. Probably too wet, so I'll hold it up and get some of that extra water off of there. I'm getting it off of my fingers. It's coming off of my fingers, guys. See all that? That's where I held it with my fingers. But you can't see it because the camera is... Anyhow, alright, we're going to use yellow. I'm going to put yellow over here. Do I have my camera angled right? Probably not because I moved it and now I can't see. Come on, focus camera. All right, there we go. So I'm putting yellow up here. I'm going to burst a yellow. I'm still not in here very good. I should never move my camera. Okay, we got a burst of yellow over there in that corner. And we can move it around if we want to with the paintbrush. And I'm getting red everywhere with my fingers. Okay, now I'm going to put orange down, or lemon, lemon. This is cool. This is, I'm going to put that over here in this corner. Watch this, guys. Woo! Look how yellow and lemony that is. Just like you want to eat a lemon. Look at that. Is that cool or what? All right, now we're going to want to do orange, I think. If I can find it. Here's the orange. Let's put that right in the middle of these two yellows. And let's make whatever it's going to make. Look how it bursts. I love it. I'm going to... Spritz it with a little bit of water. Let it burst. Okay, now we're going to use um, well, now all these other colors are going to make mud. Here, we're going to use turquoise down here. Cool, huh? Look at that turquoise.
Look at it go. It's running into the yellow, but that's okay. It's going to make up really pretty green. I'll move it around with a little bit of water here on the edge. I'm going to soak that up a little bit here. I mean, I don't care if it runs into the yellow, but I don't want that much running into it. I mean, it burst out there into that lemon anyway, which is cool. Okay, now we're going to use uh, violet over here. I'm going to have to get another piece of paper. How cool is that? Wow, that's just cool. And then oh, I got this stuff all over me. We're going to use purple. Purple's just a little bit different from the violet. Right here, I'm making mud. Purple and orange make brown. Just going to soak that up a little bit. But I do like the bursts. Where you get all the little colors in it like that right there. I love that. Now look what's happening over here. Is that cool or what? That's a big puddle. But look how it's run a river over here. You see that? That's pretty cool. Now you got green up here. All right, let's see what's next. Probably emerald green, ultramarine. Let's do ultramarine. We might as well. Mix it all up. Cool, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Wouldn't that be cool if you could just get it like that? I'm really liking this effect, but it's just got too much water. Oh my gosh, guys, we are so hot here. And for the week that I was in bed, my plants didn't get watered and they're all dead. We have an index, well, our temperature is 91, but we have a heat index of 101 right now. My poor air conditioner has been running nonstop. I'm afraid it's going to freeze up and then we're not going to have it. Cool ultramarine blue. Look at that. Is that just cool right there?
but it's just too wet to move. Because now we got to get another paper. I'm going to use all my papers. That's okay. I only have one left in this stack, but I got more. I got more. Don't worry, guys. I got more. I have to save that cardboard underneath it, but I just love this. I just think this is gorgeous. Where am I going to put this one? Oh my gosh. I don't want I want it real flat. Maybe I could lift my paints on the floor. Oh gosh, they're heavy. Terrible heavy. Hope I didn't kill my back. There's my sewing needles. They were underneath my paints. I was trying to find those to hem my husband's new pants. All right, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to let it drip off a little bit. Oh, I just think this is cool. Very cool. Okay, what we've got left is our browns and our light greens. And let's see. Oh, I want to show you what white looks like when you put white all over this. We have black, we have light brown, we have oast blue, emerald green, leaf green, dark brown, gray, Prussian blue, and cobalt blue. Let me go find another pad of paper real quick. I'll be right back. I got my Bristol paper. I don't know if it'll work the same or not, but we will try. It's little, you know what? It's smooth. It's not going to work. I got to get something else. Hang on, guys. I'm just right here. Haven't gone far. Can't see what this one is. That's a mixed media. All right, I got to look over here. I'm right here, guys. Don't move. It's medium. I got this great big Bomba Jamba. I probably only need one sheet of this. It's a Momba Jumbo one. See that? A Momba Jumbo. It is 12 by 18. Because I'm going to make a thing like Eileen made with the, where she cut out all the paper, made different colors. I'm going to do that one of these great days. I bought all the stuff to do it, and I just, I'm too scared. I think I'm going to do a small one to start out with. But anyway, all right, let's 
get going here and wet the paper. I could probably wet it with a. Uh, oh, I'm putting blue on there with a paintbrush. Yeah. I got some soppy paper towels here, I'll tell you that. Okay, here we go. We're going to do Ost Blue. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, you can't see. There's the Ost Blue. Come on. Come on, camera. Focus. There it is. It's really pretty, huh? Okay. You can see the violets and the light blue. And I don't know what OS means. I'm going to have to look that up and find out what that means in the watercolor industry, I guess, or paint colors or whatever. But that's really pretty and it's just going everywhere. Okay, I'm going to. Put this paper towel under it. Move it over just a little bit. Now we're going to do Prussian blue. And I'm going to put that right here. Look how cool that is. That's just a, it's almost like, um, Oh, I can't think of the name. But it's really blue. It's really, really blue. It's Prussian blue. That's what it is. And it's really pretty. See the difference between that and that? What is the blue that everybody uses instead of using black? Now I have to go look. Hang on. Payne, no, not Payne's gray. It is. Oh, I thought I had it here right, right in the front, but I don't. But. I don't know. I can't think of it. Paints, paints. It's not paint spray. It's some kind of blue. I'll think of it when we're done here. But look how it's pooling and just cool. All right, this is um, cobalt blue. That's not very wet right there, so. But see the difference in all the blues? Cool, huh? There's the Prussian blue, and here's the cobalt. No, this is cobalt. What did I just, what did I use over here? Ops Blue. Ops Blue is over here. It's pretty cool. You can see all the blues. All right, we're going to do Emerald Green. I'm going to do that down here. See how yellow greenish that is? Cool, look at that go. Look at that. 
wish you could get him to stay like that. But when they dry, they don't look like that. They really don't. I want it to run to the edges. And it's running up here into my blue. What does green and blue make? Hmm. What does green and blue make? Mess? Okay, now we're going to do leaf green, and I'm going to put that right here. Are you guys wanting to go buy some of these? Because they're cool. I just want a fine mist over that. Come on, water bottle. Give me a fine mist over that leaf green. Okay, now we're going to do... Uh, let's see, we have light brown. This one I've never used. Is that cool or what? Look at that brown. That's just cool. I want to get all those crystals. I mean, it's cool, but anyhow. Now we have dark brown. Cool as that. And we have gray. I didn't have to get another piece of paper after all. We have gray and I'm going to put a little bit of black right there so you all can see what the black looks like. You know, black is black. Okay. So the dark brown and black. Now I'm going to show you what what it happens when you put white all over it. Let me get all this moved around a little bit. Dark brown and black are almost the same. I'm going to let it all drip this way a little bit. Because I think it's really cool when it drips like that. All right, now watch. This is cool. I don't, I'm hoping it's wet enough. All right, I'm going to mist it from far away. And 
put a little bit more on it. I mean, it just really looks cool. So you get all these little specks of white. Do you see it? See that? How cool that is? I just love it. See how it does? Now if you missed it really far away. Look at that. Look what that does. I don't know if you all can see it in the camera, but it is cool. This one I might use with my fairies on it. Won't that be cool? I just got to get some of that pulled. Oh, look at that. When you, oh man. This is so cool when you let it all run together. Look at that. Now I'm going to put some more white on it. Oh, and I got it all over me. Ah, help. I'm going to have black legs. I just think this is so cool with the white on it. I can hardly wait to use it. I'm going to use this with my fairy, my fairies on them. I think this is going to be an interesting piece of paper. Oh, it's gorgeous, guys. It's just, I wish you could just, can you just all see that? I mean, it is just wonderful. Uh, I can't even tell you. I, let me see if I can raise the camera up so you can see it in the whole shooting the digger, the whole smear of it. Can you see it all now? Isn't that just cool looking? I wish you could see the white. You see the white in there? The white just, whoa, just pops it. And when I do stamping on this and stenciling on this, it's going to be so cool. So, so cool. All right, guys, I've got this stuff all over my hands now, just like Stacy did. And I was trying to avoid that. I should have put gloves on. I should have, should have, would have, could have if I did. All right, guys, I think I'm off for today. But I just wanted to show you all how beautiful these brush shows are and how fun they are to work with. And Stacy did a wonderful, if you haven't seen that, you can go over on her uh Facebook page and watch it. I mean, we had a blast on there, and she did not only her brush shows, but she painted some um, fabric, and we just we just had fun. That was so fun, and I just wanted to. I told her that I would come on and and do a video and show her how what my brush shows looked like in the 24 pack and the 8 pack that I got because I think she maybe had gotten some um, gifted to her 
And I think the people might have who gifted it to her might have just um, bought individual things and put them in the box. I don't know. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they bought the box, but she didn't sound like she had the same colors as I did. So I just wanted her to let her know what these are. And I'm sorry, there's not a hot pink, but let's investigate it, Stacy, and see if we can find a hot pink. I want to see if they've got um, metallics and see if they've got um, neon colors. Okay? All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, hope you enjoyed this. And it was fun for me to do. And I'm feeling good today. I'm back on my feet. And uh, yeah, I just had to rest up for a week and, and get this junk out of my system, whatever virus I had. And... Um, all right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.